Okay, I'm gonna sand away. Getting these knots down to perfection is such a chore. Duncan Foss is used to it after woodworking for more than 50 years. It's truly a labor of love. For this art piece, Duncan waited decades to find the perfect canvas. But when he did... Found the tree and here it is. It was log at first sight. This is a dragon boat outrigger royal barge. It's made from a 60-foot spruce tree that fell across the roadway one block over during a real big storm last March. 30 years ago, when Duncan was forced to sell his dragon boat, he made a promise to build one just like it. Okay, and then, oh, here it is. Here's the original before I even cut it. This is where it all started. Once this thing fell across the road, that dream's coming true. Since then, Duncan has been chipping away. What it's gonna look like, what I'm going after? The yeah. King's Royal Barge. Rama and I, who I'm dedicating in, uh, naming the boat after. Inspired by the royal barges of the King of Thailand, where Duncan lived during the Vietnam War. Every piece, everything is from inside. All the pieces I cut out with the chainsaw. Everything came from inside that. Now Duncan is almost ready to bring the log to life at the Sloan's Lake Dragon Boat Race this summer. <laughs> but the race was never his goal. My mission is live for art and have art live. So like a glove. Decades later, finally getting to carve his dreams into a reality. Not too bad, huh? Now, Duncan isn't actually entering in the dragon boat race at the end of July, but he will be bringing it on the water, and he already did a test run, and it was a su success. Now, all that's left to do is the painting. Ria Cha, 9 News.